Hey out there, this is Cocklaw, and we're going to be doing an Archicad video with some uh, tips and tricks. Uh, we're going to be starting off with elevations. Uh, these tips are based on experiences I've seen of maybe uh, new people at our practice or maybe even just work experience kids because they, they kind of solve off the problems first. If things they're asking for they're usually genuine questions on how to do things so we just open it up here we have a a basic elevation um, uh, and we're gonna go through how, how we can just uh, up the quality on these elevations re really easily um, we'll just turn all the layers on you can see my elevation lines and section lines and whatnot uh, so just uh, open the elevation settings You see, uh, and we want the model display. And you see, that there's a lot of options there. If if you are absolute beginners, then I, I will try and do more videos f for you uh, later on. If you do leave in the comments exactly what you're looking for, then oblige. And if we just turn on the hatching and the transparency, here, the transparency is just a personal point of view. And then uh, we'll turn on the the sun shadows. I would always recommend you have this on uh, either 25% or 50% black. And the reason for this is it, it prints off so much better, especially at the local authorities, because they, they will only ever print things in black and white. There's no point doing things extra uh, pretty for the council sometimes if they're only ever going to print it in black and white. Your PDFs will, will come off really clearly, but... Um, once it's printed it might not work out so good so just one thing to bear in mind there always consider how things are printed black and white and uh we'll just yeah, we'll, we'll let this load up and we can see the the elevation's got got a bit more life all of a sudden uh it, just a simple thing now if you look at the brickwork and and then the windows and such not you, you might you might want to darken those windows so we'll we'll just take a note here of uh what material is used for the glazing uh, it's usually glass 4 or 24 but you can just see it, it's already it's, it's got some shadows on there it's got a bit of hatch and it, it looks a lot more natural it's got a bit of depth uh, and, and just those simple options it, it isn't always people aren't aware of that that's in there okay uh, one thing we can do with these windows is it's try and add a shade to them because uh, if you notice the windows always come up white and I don't like that because if you ever look across the street and look at elevation of a window and it, you know, they're never white they're always dark they're almost black so if we open the material settings please take note of the surface color mode because we'll come on to that later and you can actually choose your hatch here and and the, and the pen weight that's going to be used again I'd always recommend black dark gray maybe uh you, you gotta consider how it's gonna print for elevations you know grays or always works well and again I'll, I'll just uh quickly show the roof tiles and show them how that sets up again we've got the hatch inset for the roof and you know some sort of thin black line set for the for the uh the line type just just to get the appearance right now one thing to note on this hatch is that solid fills don't work so the percentage fills don't work so you, you couldn't just send it it doesn't it doesn't work that way and also in sketches that format doesn't work so we we can't just readily uh shade the glazing in basically what what you have to do is go to your fill types select the fill um you know there's plenty to choose from i believe ansi is a good one a strike one but you could use plaster gypsum all, all sorts of hatch but it can't be one of the the solid fills because they don't work on sketch or in the hatch mode so it, it's up to yourself you know stri stripe hatch do work but basically what what we're going to do if you take the scale down uh, just a quick note there actually do re do rename this field call, call it shade glazing or, or something along those lines it, just something to, so you don't affect your existing uh, fills you know also good for um, your other people in your office 
Okay, so once you've renamed your fill type, uh, start changing the scales down. So basically, uh, the fill will show up almost black. If it does show up black at first, that's not a problem. We'll, we'll test it and, and see how it works. I'm just going to shrink this down a, 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 a touch more. And basically, we, we will go to the glazing that was in our windows. And we'll change the hatch into our newly modified uh, shaded glazing fill. And we'll have a look at the elevation now. Now you see you you've got like a nice dark glazing. It's kinda of like the, the shadow effect of it, but it's more it's it's too dark there, you know. We'll we'll retract that a little bit, maybe change the colour to grey or you know, go back to your fill types and and, and loosen up the scale. And and, and that will work for you. Um but it it's it's about getting a that kind of depth and, and realism onto the uh, the elevation itself. It's kind of a tried and tested. Uh, I usually use ANSI and scale that down. It, it's kind of a line shade and that works for me. I'm just... If we zoom in there, that, that that's looking nice. Uh, the elevation, you know, maybe they are a little dark, but you, you get the principle of the thing. You can, you can darken up the windows and it gives a more natural appearance that windows are generally dark to look through okay we can see the um i just did uh fill there taking it down a scale or two and it, it just looks a little more great it probably it still might be too heavy but uh, you, you know in principle you get what we're talking there so we'll just move on uh, you see what what's great about using this uh fill on the glazing is that it also works in sketch Now in Sketch you'll find uh, there's a lot of problems with this because the solid fills don't don't work. Uh, if we just uh, do a few little ad adjustments here, the grey usually works well. Tech pencil, core, and, uh, make sure the screen size is right, uh, the right resolution uh, on the sketch sketch mode. And if we sketch that up, we should find that the glazing will also sketch with with the with the shaded fill. Now, in extreme circumstances, say you had fascia board, say on a more traditional, maybe a barn or an old cottage, you could actually do the fascias, the rainwater pipes, uh, the rainwater's as black in a sketch, and that works really well. We do a lot of uh, pencil sketches just, just to show in quick representation how, how things may look. So uh, here, here we go, the, the sketch will just uh, drop up and now you get the benefits of uh, me fast forward and the render. Uh, I have to sit here for a couple of minutes while, uh, while it sketches out. And there we go, we have uh, a nice sketch render, as you can see the glazing slightly shaded there and it just gives that little bit extra with the hatch uh, and the shading. It looks nice. It, do you know it's a nice representation that can be quickly whipped up for a client and like I said if if you wanted to go back to where we had the extreme fill at a really low scale you could actually create black within sketch which you could use on fascia boards, windows, guttering, floors I suppose uh, also roads if you, if you really needed to so it, it's quite a handy little tip to use the fills but always make a new fill and use it just for your sketches the reason, good reason to do that is so if anybody ever comes across your project, they'll, they'll know what's going on. You don't want to tinker with existing fills, as it can be very confusing when, uh, say, uh, you know, a comrade comes along and tries to open up your project, and things are all tinkered around with. If if we just uh, quickly before I end the video, go back to the settings, and if you notice, you can actually do the uniform colours here. Uh, either shaded or, or non-shaded. Uh, I just want to show you a quick colour elevation. The, this is uh, going back to what I was saying about note down the colour of materials. This is the way I actually do my elevations now. I actually just do them in colour and then change all the materials back to white. So if your brickwork was orange, I just change that to white and then it shows the, the hatch still as grey or black depends on how you've set it and the benefit to that is I can do the windows as maybe a dark blue or a really dark grey 
and the, the PDFs come across really nice when we publish things to the council or, or to wherever. So again, if you go into materials and bring it up, I'll, I'll bring up the glazing here. Because it's in colour, we, we, we've got more options now. We can bring the colour up. But I like a, a nice blue. Uh, so if we select the blue and go down to a, a really deep shade, and then have a look how that's figured. Obviously, I spend a lot more time on this when when I'm doing it for a client. It's just for the purposes of showing you guys how you can quickly whip up, you know, shaded color elevations. And that doesn't look too bad in color. Generally, I do, I do them in black and white, but uh, this 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 will do. As we see there. I'll actually even go for a deeper blue than that. Um, if we just grab a quick fill, uh, this is literally just a fill in the background, just a fill. Make it a nice light sky blue on top with maybe a white under or even transparent as but it would matter. We'll go for white here just, just in case you wanted to hide anything in the background. If you, if you grab that fill, whip it over the back. There we go, an, an almost perfect sky just flopped on. Uh, again, if you were just sketching out something or something for planning, this is perfect. Quick illustration, there's your elevation. Whipped up, no problem, hatch, which is the, the purpose of, of this uh, tutorial. Uh, just a few options. Uh, if you do you know, want more info, please leave a comment. Send me a message. I'll I'll try and oblige with with more. Do you know, maybe more people want to know the basics. Maybe people want to know, do you know, uh, more technical uh, items to go with their Archicad. Uh, I'm I'm going to be moving on to some three D renderings as well, just to show you how we quickly produce those because time seems everything these days. You don't really get a lot of time to produce, you know, the things that you may wish. So it's about getting uh, to this end product as quickly as possible. Uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed my video and found it productive. If you do have any questions, please just send them along and I will try and answer them as quickly as possible. Thank you.